This will be a short demo of the ticket posting system for the refuse management waste disposal module. The first screen that I have is a snapshot of the main posting screen and it's basically a three-part screen all together. This screen here is the very first section. The second section is the posting of the weights. And the third section, which is not used as much, is information about the actual charges of the ticket and cash payment posting if needs be. As you look at the screen up near the top, there's a truck number entry on the left-hand side. That truck number entry is the starting point for any operator as a truck drives onto a scale or in your case through the gates of your facility. The operator would record or use the truck number field to look up the particular vehicle involved by company and you will see how that all works. The hauler number is the owner of the waste service vehicle as opposed to the client or customers who generated the waste. The waste generator, a little bit farther down on the screen, is just that. The company that generated the waste and asked for it to be hauled away. Right above the waste generator, there's a place for a hauler ticker, ticket and a hauler route number. Uh, these are for purposes of cross-checking a hauler ticket information uh, against the waste ticket. And we can print both on the ticket receipt uh, generated by our system if required. The waste type code allows one to select the different waste types that this particular hauler may be able to bring into the system and identify that for this particular ticket. Application ID is based on any special regulatory uh, permits that are necessary and an application ID would be tied to that and again is available and it is tied to specific waste for the specific waste generator. Town code is the locality field for the waste generator so if there depending where the waste generator came from, or exists, I should say, that town code would be associated with that waste generator. Again, this is for reporting purposes. Site number is your site number for this particular uh, landfill or transfer station facility. The site location is in regards to if you had actually multiple scale sites within the facility itself, you can actually vary that. So let's take a look at posting a single ticket. And what I will do in regards to the demo itself, as you watch the posting process proceed, I will be dropping at the bottom of the screen the exact key that was pushed by the on the keyboard by the operator. Since we don't have a keyboard um, showing at the same time here. And that way you will see how fast you could post to the particular ticket.
Example three will use a few additional keys that haven't been used in the first couple of examples. First, it'll use the H key to duplicate the hauler number in the waste gener generator field. And then it'll also use F2 to do lookups for waste type and town codes. At this point in time, the ticket will be sort of left idle until the driver would be bring the truck back out from the landfill or back out from the transfer station so that the operator could record the tear weight or unloaded weight as the truck leaves the facility. Although your operation would not use that particular function, it is demonstrated here. And the use of the open ticket option on the screen provides the additional information to go back to the original ticket that was started when the driver first came into the facility. Enter Q to go to the truck number. Enter the truck number. Select the one you want. In this case we're using 459. Go down to the waste generator and put the hit the H to get the hauler number. Now hit F2 for the waste type. Select the waste type. Hit F2 again to get the appropriate town code. In this case, we're going to Greece, so we're going to hit a G for Greece. Hit Enter. Now for the gross weight, hit a space bar. And get out of that ticket transaction. It just sits there. Now we will go to the open ticket section. Find the original ticket, 459, truck number. Enter that. Bring the original ticket up. Skip over the first section. Hit space bar for tear weight and print the ticket. Sometimes it's necessary to retrieve tickets for review purposes. And we've provided an option at the bottom of the screen where all the options are uh, to do this using the combination of truck number and date to review all sections of the ticket. We use the F8 function key to allow the operator to sort of skip through each one of the three main sections, that those being the hauler, waste generator, waste type section, weight section showing the both the gross and tear weight and if there were yardage involved, what the yardage would be. And then thirdly, the actual charges associated with that particular ticket based on the information entered. So now we'll go through a few demonstrations of that particular function. So the steps are, enter the truck number, select the date for tickets, then select the ticket. Now you can hit F8 to move from section to section. First is the hauler and customer, then the weight entry section, and now the disposal charges and payment section. And we're back to the beginning simply by hitting an F8 again. So let's look at a different day or a different ticket. Different ticket, information comes right up. Again, hit F8 for the change, the wait, F8 again for charges, and then F8 to return to the beginning. We're just doing it one more time. When you first set up the system, and from time to time after that, you will need to enter the vehicle information for the ticket system. The setup of the vehicle information properly allows the operator to process tickets faster than if he were to have to enter all the details for that particular vehicle. The screen that you are looking at now is the screen used for the vehicle entry and, and maintenance. To review the different uh, fields there, first of all, the customer number in this case would be the hauler number for the particular vehicle that you're setting up. The next field down is the truck ID, and of course that is the number or the identification of the vehicle so that the operator would use as the vehicle enters your facilities. The next step down 
actually allows you to specify the type of container that may be on the back of the truck. In this case, we're using RO for a roll-off, but you might have a roll-off container that's 10 yards, a roll-off container that's 20 yards, and so on. You can actually put in a separate tear weight for each of the different types of boxes that you have on the back of the vehicle. Next down is store last service site. Well, if the last service site is most of the time going to be the same place uh, over and over again, you'd say yes to that. If you want to make sure the operator identifies what the service site is each time that vehicle comes in, you would use no. If you're comfortable that that service site will always be the last one, you can say yes here. Does not stop the operator from making a change to that service site as the vehicle comes over the scales if it is different. Uh, but it's a way of saving time again. Fixed and average tear weight. What does that mean? Well, we've put into the system a way of taking the average tear weight of the last 10 tears that were done on the vehicle. In this case, you people probably will not be using it, and most people don't. Uh, instead, you'd set this particular little switch here at fixed, and you would enter whatever the tear weight is based on the, the way th that you had just conducted on the vehicle itself for the particular container type. Once it's entered here, then you can go back and start processing tickets normally against this vehicle where that tear weight will come up automatically. So first, let's take a look exactly at the few steps that there are to set up a brand new vehicle. And then we'll go back in the very last section of this demo and use that vehicle for a new ticket so you can see how that tear weight pops right in place for you. So by selecting the add option at the bottom of the screen, you begin the process of adding a new uh, vehicle for a particular customer record. So first it's customer number, we're using one. Then we're going to add 25 as the new vehicle. We're still going to use RO for the container type. We're going to say yes for service site. We're going to make it fixed and then we're going to plug in the tear weight, 25,000. We'll do one more here. So again, it's add. We're still going to stay with one. This time we're going to use vehicle 20 or 35, still using the roll-off container type. Yes, the service site fixed. Oops, we made a mistake, made it 25 pounds rather or than 35,000. Let's hit the update button and fix that. And now we're done. So now let's go on and we'll process a ticket using uh, vehicle 35. First, you want to put in the appropriate truck number, 35. It pops up with the RO automatically for us via hauler 1. We're going to select the particular waste generator in this case and waste type. We're going to skip over now to the entry of the gross weight. There's your 35,000 from the tear vehicle information. Print the ticket and we're done. Now we can look it up on the truck lookup section for 35. There's the original transaction. And we can look through the transaction. Second step here will show that tear weight of 35,000. It went through it sort of quickly, but it's there. And then the last disposal charges payment section. This ends our short demo of the ticket processing system. The system was designed for quick entry of waste tickets. All the information is quickly accessible by your operators, and the operators can actually enter tickets in less than three seconds. Any changes to tickets are all logged. Once the tickets are actually processed at your scaled facilities, all that information is available for any of the reports and can be billed to your customers as well as be reviewed. If you have the additional client networking option, any site can be queried by any staff member of your organization who has those permissions, no matter where they are in your operation. Again, we thank you for your time to review the refuse management ticket posting process, and we hope to hear from you soon.